to tell you the Hollywood Beauty Awards you're presenting tonight. Yes. Are you excited to be here? I'm very excited to be here. You know what? So, so many times that the people behind the cameras don't get the recognition and the glory that they deserve. You know, they're the first one to get there in the morning. They're the last ones to leave. And we get all the shine because we're in front of the camera. So tonight, it's all about them, and I'm happy about that. <laughs> um, but we just want to say, how does it feel to be back tonight and be a part of the show again? I'm so honored to be back. I was so glad that they asked me, and it is it is really exciting to honor the people behind the scenes who make us look great. But you're nominated at the, um, the Hollywood Beauty Awards tonight. How does it feel to be nominated for such an amazing career you've had? It's fun. You know, I've been around so long that, that most people think I'm dead, so it's good to be here. <laughs> No, you, sir, are amazing. We just found out you're going to be on the talk next week. We're going to be right there. It's our birthday on the day Cher's going to be there. So we will be... How old are you going to be? We are going to be... But well, our dad's Cherokee Indian, so we look a lot younger. So we've been blessed with the Cher gene. We say it's the Cher gene. So... But we just want to tell you, we're honored to talk to you because we've followed your career because we do love Dolly and Cher. Dolly's one of our favorites because we're from the South, and you've done some amazing things with her. How was that? Just, well, just a couple, one or two times is all on Dolly. But uh, she did a show with Carol Burnett, and she did a show with Cher. And, uh, yes, I remember the Cher variety. It was a two-hour special. I don't think she ever really liked what I did for her. Dolly Parton, don't make us come after you with Bob Mackey. <laughs> But you make people look beautiful, so I'm so glad you're being honored tonight. So what a career. Amazing. <laughs> a little bit about being the stylist nominee. Uh, the it's really cool. Uh, the winner, I don't know what I'll be the winner. You're going to win. Do you say that to everyone? We know. No, no, we've got, I've got it in my earpiece. You won. No, you don't. <laughs> the other stylists are great. There's a lot of great stylists in this town. I don't even know how I got here. I'm you just a dorky girl from Philly. I don't even know why I'm You deserve it. We're with the East Coast, so East Coast, East Coast all the way, North Carolina. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, the Hollywood Beauty Awards uh, throws a spotlight on the, like you said, the behind the scenes people, you know, the people that work in the shadows, you know, that, that help support uh, the performers, you know, and, and help create the, you know, the iconic images that, you know, fans have come to love. That make them look good. Well, we thank you. You deserve it. And we're going to put it out there, the Oscars. Go ahead and clear a space for it. And thank you so much, Pop Rap TV. Thank you, Joel. Bye-bye. <laughs> You look gorgeous. Now, tell us a little bit about the Hollywood Beauty Awards and how does it feel to be a part of it? Well, it's absolutely wonderful because it's honoring people who they make us beautiful, you know? Yeah. So, you can't, I mean, it's just a genius idea. And because you are they, beautiful. oh, thank you. And it took five hours. We're, we're with Pop Rap TV and we've got Leah Michelle and Sarah Patempa. You have product of the year. Congratulations. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> Absolutely. It's called the Beach Raver. It's a rotating curling iron that I invented yeah. to help women everywhere feel and look like a celebrity. So <laughs> it's a tool that I would always curl their hair for the red carpet and people would say, how do you recreate it at home? And I would say, like, hold it upside down and wrap it backwards and, like, do these things. And people would just say it was too difficult to do. So I wanted to create a tool that women could actually use. So it rotates in both directions. You just tap a button and you can get gorgeous hair like Leah. And I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> and Leah, we just want to tell you we love you on Scream Queens Glee. How does it feel to be nominating people that are behind the scenes tonight that don't always get that recognition? Yeah, I mean, I have the honor of working with incredible people who take time away from their families to come and help me look and feel beautiful. So to have a night like tonight where I can celebrate Sarah and thank her for all of the years that she's put into helping me look so pretty all the time is really incredible. And, uh, and we just want to tell you we're at the Hollywood Beauty Awards. You are the ageless beauty tonight. Gorgeous, timeless, I, I mean, I gorgeous. don't know how to respond, but anyway, I'm... Beautiful. I'm very appreciative and grateful. Absolutely. So. And we, we were huge fans of the remake of Dallas, and when they Wasn't canceled it, it we were so It upset. was so we good. It was so good. TNT, don't make us come after you. No, no. Mm, we're not happy. We just want to tell you that you're nominated tonight as the new Beauty Award, correct? You deserve it. We love you on Blue Bloods. So we're big fans, and um, how does it feel to be at the Hollywood Beauty Awards and to be nominated and to be the winner of the nominee? Well, you know, I'm really just excited to be here tonight to celebrate all of the heroes in our industry who I I believe are so often underappreciated. You know, working all the time on Blue Bloods and then also going to college. I often run home from school after a long day of work and have 20 minutes to get ready. And it is my hairstylist and makeup artist and stylist who really bring it all together. And without them, I wouldn't feel as great as I do on the red carpet, nor would I have any of the looks that I've had on the red carpet. So 
This award, it's great that I'm nominated, but I feel it really belongs to them.